a new season signifies a fresh start. A chance to right previous wrongs and rewrite past misgivings. For the Canucks, an off-season full of changeover leaves them with grand aspirations. Reinforcements have been blended with familiar faces as the journey begins behind enemy lines. 12 days in six cities, first up against last season's top two scorers in the league. It seems like they, uh, they're they fighting each other all the time and, and uh, it's hard to, to keep track on them out there. So uh, that's what you want. I mean, it's the best league in the world. It's the best players in the, in the world. So it's a fun challenge for, for our group. Those are the guys I want to battle against, two of the best players in the game. I want that challenge. I want to to play against those. Yeah, and there's no secret that um, those two are really good. With a clean slate, it's game one of 82 for the visiting Vancouver Canucks and the Oilers live from Rogers Place. It could have been anybody that I was making the hit on. It just happened to be a guy that has a lot of history with the city. Unable to solve the Oilers' netminder for the first two and a half periods, the visitors' will and determination doesn't waver. Getting pucks on net may be a cliche, but the old saying proves its worth. Beckman Larson now a wrister and they score! The Canucks are on the board, and that might be Ekman Larson's first goal as a Vancouver Canuck. We stuck with it, said that we were going to keep it simple and get some puck to the net. You know? And we did that and, and it paid off. So, I mean, it's always nice to score on a power play because it's a huge part of the, the game. Vancouver digs deep and forces overtime, lighting the lamp twice in the last eight minutes of the third period. Quick shot and they score! Somehow that went in and we have a tie game! PD was driving in the net and it was just a good screen. I didn't know if it would go in or not, but I knew that it would surprise him. So, I mean, he was lucky that I think he was cheating and wasn't on his post, so. Defeated in a shootout, the Canucks won't leave empty-handed after salvaging a road point with the late rally. I like how our guys stuck with it. Uh, we talked about it after the second. You know, this is where you just gotta believe in your game, believe in what you're trying to do, believe in the process. Next up, it's the city of brotherly love. For the first time in 593 days, the Canucks are set to play a regular season game in the United States of America. Vancouver's last battle south of the border was in Columbus on March 1st, 2020. It just feels good to get back a little normality with the season starting at normal time and you know it's somewhat of a normal schedule. It feels good as a player to get back from that routine. We're getting a taste of a lot of you know new arenas in the last year and a half to start our season, so it'll, it'll be exciting. You can see they're looking for quick hitters right off, and you can see Drew sprinting down here. So it looks like to me they don't have this. They're going to bump it behind like Edmonton was going to do the other night that behind the net play. All right, so we know how to handle that. Okay. So you can see quick hitters. If this pass is coming out here and we, you know, their defenseman's outside the blue line, he's a little higher and he's gonna pass it from here, F2. Can we read that? Try to get out there, get your stick there, push him further away so he can't shoot it or he's shooting from outside the dots one timer, which is fine with us. They wanna play fast, they've talked about it and they've got guys, especially the wingers on their fourth line, that's uh, Willman and uh, Obey Kubel, are gonna test you wide with speed all night. Let's get body position, let's keep them to the outside. In the neutral zone transition when they have it, lots of D to D back to D to allow their forwards to try and get above our structure. All right, so let's be counting numbers, guys. Let's deny pucks up the middle. If we do a good job of checking, you'll get these icings, you'll get the offensive zone draws, and then we can get on the attack right away. Troops are set to enter a hostile environment, one far different than the empty arenas they've become accustomed to since the bubble. The return of fans, something the players don't take for granted. Mutual gratitude, what sports are all about. On the right side, we got Garley. Oh. Down the middle, we got Bowie. On the left, we got Tanner. Yeah. The back end, we got O and Mizey. And in the pipes we got Denver. Yeah.
54th season opener for the hometown Flyers, the Vancouver Canucks in town for stop number two of this monstrous season opening six game road trip. Spinning on towards front, another chance, and a third, and the net was knocked off. After weathering the initial storm from Philadelphia, ignited by a raucous crowd, the visiting side flips the script in the second period. The visitors find the back of the net four times in the middle frame, starting with a tally two years in the making. It's the first career goal for Pontosa. That's a special moment in your career. Heck of a shot, and we've seen it all the time in practice so far, and I'm super happy for him. I was just got so happy for him because he's you know, been working so hard. He's a great guy to have on the team, always comes up with a smile to practice. He's an awesome guy to have on our team. I'm really happy he got, got his first one today. Anytime you see a, a young man score his first NHL goal, that's great to see. It's such a special moment. It's something that you you never forget. Pedersen shoots. Again, he missed that, but it came in off her. Came off the end boards, hit the goal center. Miller in front. Chase on robbed by Hart. Now it's in. Alex Chase on kept after the puck. Was able to jam it home. JT Miller is a force to be reckoned with scoring once and adding two helpers before netting the eventual shootout winner. The Flyers rally late to force overtime, but a resilient effort from Green's side earns them a gritty road victory. Miller scores, and the Canucks win in Philadelphia. You're getting overtime, I looked up in, you know, in the crowd, and it's, you know, it gives you chills you know, to feel that again. That's, you know, it's a big reason we play. We need the fans. You know, they need to be here. That was a pretty rocking atmosphere. You know, that's about as loud as it gets. But I definitely took a step back before overtime and realized you know, how nice and lucky we are to have the fans back. Twenty-four hours later, and it's on to the Motor City, where Vancouver will play the second half of a back-to-back. Knox will play the third game in four nights to open the season in their second different time zone. A Saturday night in Hockey Town, a place with no shortage of history, where each and every night is a chance to write your own story. Bertuzzi, he had a big night the other night, four goals. All the goals came from the paint, so let's make sure that we notice when he's on the ice. Raymond, a young kid, he's got a lot of speed down the right side. Okay, let's make sure we recognize he's really direct in his play, but he's got a lot of speed down the right side. And then Letty, you guys know Letty, he's going to want to put his stamp on the game. Good angles, let's get in front of him, stop him. Okay, he's going to want to be active in the rush. But as Greeny mentioned, for me, this is our key right here. We're going after their defense. Okay, offensively for us, don't be surprised by this. Okay, that's their look. I had about 10 clips where they retreat into a high trap. Okay, it's going to look like you have no, no room out there, but just expect it. If we can kick these pucks out, drive through, we might have to fight the battle down here in the zone, but just know that they want to trap, they want to feast off our turnovers. Acquired in the offseason, netminder Yaroslav Halak will make his season debut playing his 540th NHL game. He's no stranger to the bright lights. As a group here, let's be skating right away. Everyone's talking, everyone's supporting, everyone wants the puck, wants to be in the battle, let's get the job done. All right, man, fast start here. We got Bowie, on the left we got Pierce, on the right we got Garley, on the back end we got O with Mizey, and in the fight we got Yarrow. Let's go. Despite the two-year gap since the club's last met, the matchup is filled with animosity right from the get-go. Tempers flaring all over the ice. Teams eventually combine for 50 penalty minutes. Connor Garland leaves his mark on this battle, scoring his first as a Canuck. Scores from a sharp angle, he put it in under the bar as Grice didn't have the shoulder up with the short side. Before finding himself the center of the Red Wings' attention. Oh, there's a hit by Garland. Kind of hit the brakes, trying to create space. So, you know, I know there's a guy behind me. That's it, he skated a time after. They thought there was, they thought it was a bad hit or whatever. I mean, uh, you want to stick up for your teammates. That's what happens, you know, I've been hit like that and my team's gone after somebody. Somebody on our team got hit like that. I'm sure we, we would expect the same thing. So, it's what it is. Obviously it was heated. Uh, they weren't happy about the hit. And no matter what the cost, we're going to have have each other's back. 
Vancouver has their opportunities out shooting Detroit 41 to 21, including 23 to six in the third period. But goaltender Thomas Grice is up to the task. After having a late marker called back due to goaltender interference, tonight simply isn't meant to be for the visiting side, dropping them to one, one and one at the halfway mark of the roadie. I think we've played pretty good hockey for uh... Out of nine periods, we've, we've been pretty good. For me, it's the process and how your team's playing. Also, a lot of new players working together. I've liked what I've seen so far. The East Coast swing continues as the Canucks visit Buffalo, their fourth city of the trip. They'll get some help as last year's team leading scorer is set to make his season debut. Just to be out there with all the guys again, and it felt good, and it's been a while, so it was exciting for me. You know, obviously, it sucks missing time. Anytime you have to miss time, I've come through it a lot, and you know, I'm not a fan of it. But um, you know, it's a long season, so I'd rather be smart now than push through something early in the season. With the good comes some bad. While Brock Besser slots back in, Vancouver will be without defenseman Quinn Hughes, who is sidelined due to injury. Next man up. Opportunities now present themselves for some new faces. Our start time been the greatest, so playing catch up in this league isn't the easiest. So you know to get that first goal would be huge, given what what we've been through with, with trailing. I like uh, I like our pushback. Into the second half of this record six-game road trip to start their season. They're in Buffalo for the first of two meetings with their expansion cousins of yesteryear. All right, on four, we got Millsy's group. Oh, wow. great spot. On D, we got O and Pools. All right. Ooh. And then on that, we got Demmer. Okay. Yeah. Come on, fellas. <laughs> great decision. Come on, Miller group. Sounds like a sales company here. Green side gets off to a good start, netting a pair in the first period. Horvath scores! Wonderful work by Tanner Pearson below the goal line as he won the battle for the puck, set it up to Horvat. Connor Garland gets an assist on the captain's goal, giving him his 100th career NHL point. Back to Shane, long shot, tipped in. Dowling in front. You know, Buffalo is a hard-working team. We knew that coming into the game and can't take them lightly. And a couple times where our, you know, our game got a little sloppy and they, they took it to us. So. I, don't, I don't think we put, paid enough big enough price to win and give their team credit. Uh, there's a reason why they're 3-0. You can see that how fast they are and they're good with the puck. Thatcher Demko makes 38 saves but the home side prevails, dropping the Canucks to 1-2-1 on the road trip. Looking to return to winning ways, Vancouver visits the Windy City. On day 10 of the journey, they'll be playing a game in their third different time zone. We didn't compete hard enough. That was probably our, our worst game as a, as a team since it started, and it's unacceptable. Like you're not going to play great for 82 games, and you know it's only been four games in the season. Obviously, we want to we want to nip it in the butt right away and, and figure out ways to get better and not have those types of games again. It's how you recover from it. It's how you get learn from it and get better. And got to create a culture of hard work and dedication. It's how we respond to the next one. The ability to accept it and learn from it. A lot of guys are pissed off with themselves, and that's where where it should be right now. Playing in a building accustomed to championship caliber teams, the winless Blackhawks will have ample desire to right the ship. A chance at redemption on the line, it's two teams with plenty to prove. We're at the United Center in Chicago, where two once bitter rivals will both be trying to change their early season fortunes for the better. And let's win lanes. Win lanes so we can win battles. No f***ing Let's go here tonight. Both line, oh, my Z, Demmer, the number. Focused and determined, the Canucks put forth a very business-like performance right from the get-go. He centers one time and they score! Jason Dickinson off the post and in. Highmore set him up and the Canucks draw first blood in Chicago. Comes back to Quinn Hughes. Hughes drags in the middle. Wrist shot tipped in! 
assisting on Tanner Pearson's goal, Quinn Hughes records his 100th career NHL point. Not a lot of mistakes made by our group. I thought we managed the puck well. Played a smart game, but a hard game, heavy game when we needed to. And um, there's always certain things you got to do in the game. There's always a price to pay to win. And I thought our, our team did that tonight. Here's Miller. Cross, Pedersen, Besser, scores on his own rebound. The top players have to lead the team. We have to show up each and every night and push the pace and you know, kind of set the tone of how we want to play that game. And we did a better job of that tonight, and you know, I thought we came flying out the gates, and we had a way better start. Each line was going tonight. Connor Garland stays hot, scoring and adding a helper, giving him at least a point in every game so far this season. Yes! An opportunity to develop chemistry and bond away from home Green's troops are 2-2-1 two, two and one through the first 10 days and five cities of the season's longest road trip. Next up, a historic battle with the Seattle Kraken awaits.